I am one of the richest players on the entire server. Okay, richest is a little bit of a stretch, but if I go to F1 here, you guys can see at uh, in my balance, I currently have $74.4 billion. And let's go ahead and do slash battle top page two. You guys can see at the very bottom is my name right there, Robbie. I am in the number 20 spot on the server. I'm the 20th richest player on the entire server right now. And holy crap, have I been grinding a lot for this as well as I've been selling all of my lucky keys, all of my tokens, and uh, we have finally reached enough money to prestige all the way to prestige to fighting slash ranks you guys will be able to see uh, uh it's gonna say right here yeah uh your rank o to next prestige it says 71.53 billion we actually made a little bit of extra money so that's gonna be good and now quickly before we get into that guys i want to talk about i have not uploaded in about a week and a half and i do want to apologize about that i kind of took like an unannounced break from youtube plus if you can tell my voice right now i am a little bit sick right now my voice might sound like scratchy or something but yeah i am a little bit sick hopefully this uh video doesn't sound too bad uh you guys probably won't be seeing it if it does sound bad but i don't think it will my voice is pretty much good i'm starting to get better now which is good i've been sick the past like three days and then i had prom over the weekend so that was super busy so i kind of just took a little unannounced break i've been needing one anyways but yeah we should be back to the normal upload schedule now which is good so if you guys are excited to see more videos like this here on mc complex make sure to go ahead and drop a like on today's video let's go for 40 likes on today's video and also make sure to hop on the server if you have not already the ip is robbie.mccomplex.com it'll be up on the screen and uh, yeah make sure you use that it does directly support me and also let's put some positive comments up on the screen right now from the previous video if you guys do want to be featured in the next video make sure to go ahead and leave a com positive comment down below on today's video or something funny and uh, yeah you have a chance to be featured in the next video now that we got all of that out of the way let's just go ahead and get straight into this guys i've been waiting to do this for so 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 long okay Okay, we're gonna go ahead and spam slash rank up uh yeah i want to spam it okay we're gonna literally go all the way to we're at w x wait is it is it gonna go anymore y z there we go and we're at the z mine now if i do such ranks let's see yeah so literally the next thing i'm gonna do is prestige prestiging is going to cost about 24 billion dollars i believe yep 24.283 billion dollars this guy says well you're gonna do it robbie or just tease us i'm gonna say here we go three two one slash rank up rank up confirmed to the next prestige boom there we go and uh yeah as you guys see we are now prestige two now i'm gonna say i've been waiting a good two weeks to do that okay so shout out to everybody in chat who said gg right there i appreciate everybody looks like we got some tags for prestiging this is a pretty cool tag right here we'll claim this and uh, another tag we got some prisoner keys and escapist key we got some a bunch of rank up keys actually so let's go ahead and just pv these away right now i'm just gonna put these in the corner because i don't need them right now i'm not gonna open them or anything but yeah we are finally prestige two which i've been waiting to do so long how do you do prestige color slash colors or or how do I change prestige color? I need to ask because I know once you get to prestige two, you unlock the pink prestige color. So that on my name right there will show up as pink. I want to change it pink. I think it'll look way better. Is this slash settings? Yeah, literally right there. Oh my gosh. Wait, uh, let's do prestige two. We can do, ooh, we can do blue. Okay, there we go. So there we go. We got the uh, pink prestige color. I don't know what's going to look better, pink or that light blue. Both of them I think are really cool. We're going to leave it as pink right now though. And guys, like I said, I have been waiting so long to hit prestige two. And let me explain to you guys why if you don't already. Let's go back to the prestige prestige one mine and uh, let's go ahead shift right click the pickaxe as you guys can see right here there's this enchant called trigger finger right here and uh, if we read the description it says has a one in 1000 chance to make a block break twice when triggered with excavator it has a chance to cause a chain reaction and now at first glance i didn't even think this enchant was very good but last season if you guys watched the prison series you would know this enchant is absolutely insane and it makes you so much money literally at like 5x is the amount that excavator procs which is huge so this is going to be super important to max out and luckily if you guys take a look at my token balance right now i have 1.6 million tokens right there on the scoreboard i've been saving these up uh making sure i would have enough to max out trigger finger right away once i prestiged so we should be able to right uh click this pickaxe right here let's see how much is it going to be 1.5 uh, million tokens so yes we do have enough to get this all the way to level 20. so we are going to waste no time in today's video and literally just start spamming this up we're going to get this all the way maxed out at level 20 there we go and that is basically all my tokens gone i have 89,000 left and uh i'm going to have to do some serious upgrades to this backpack now that i'm thinking of it because this thing is going to get oh my gosh literally two seconds there 
my entire backpack and inventory is full look at that i can sell that for literally holy crap dude that is like eight billion dollars right there seven billion dollars never mind i read that wrong okay but you guys see the point holy crap this thing is insane literally took me two seconds to fill it up i think i just got lucky there but okay never mind okay this thing is absolutely insane. If you guys play prisons, you definitely know there is a huge difference between Prestige 1 and Prestige 2. You make money so much quicker. But the unfortunate part about this is, is I'm going to need an absurd amount of gold shards. Like a crazy amount of them. Just to be able to pick up all the blocks, okay? I need to upgrade my backpack super bad. And now if I go to my plot, I believe I do have some gold shards just sitting in a chest somewhere. Yeah, I have a little bit right here. This probably won't get me very far because look how expensive it is. I can upgrade it three times. We have 4,000 blocks of storage now in the back backpack which is good but yeah now it's gonna really start to get expensive to upgrade my backpack like 466 gold shards for just another 250 blocks of storage so i'm really gonna have to cough up some money here i'm gonna have to spend a lot to be able to upgrade this backpack and i'm probably ideally gonna have to get this thing to like 7,000 storage which if you guys play prisons you know that is a lot okay that is gonna be very expensive because each time you upgrade your backpack it just costs more and more gold shards each time and i haven't been uh checking gold pr uh, shard prices recently i have no idea what they are they're probably a lot uh last time i looked they're like 500 mil or so now they're 800 mil oh my gosh that is gonna hurt dude oh man all right well we definitely cannot afford that we're gonna go back to the mines we're gonna have to go ahead and get ourselves some money it might even be worth it to go to uh pharaoh's to or no that's skyblock what is it called on here skull island might even be worth it to go to skull island take out our sword right here with swindled lit shards 20 and uh, just try to grind some of our own shards we might have to do that later in today's video i'm not sure but yeah luckily we did did hit prestige 2 in today's video i'm so glad that we were able to start off today's video with that i spent so much time grinding for that you guys have no idea but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and enjoy being prestige 2 with maxed out trigger finger uh 20 on this pickaxe you see right there at the bottom i'm gonna go enjoy this pickaxe for a little bit okay i'm gonna start mining with this we'll do like maybe 20 minutes of grinding nothing too crazy see how much we get and uh yeah i guess i'll just bring you guys back when we're done with that all right guys it is now about 20 minutes later and i just got done mining for about you know 20 minutes and we're up to 3.9 billion dollars in our balance and i think i could be completely wrong but i think we had less than three billion dollars uh in the last clip which means we made close to a billion dollars in literally 20 minutes which is not too bad at all that's three billion an hour without any boosters by the way it'd be even more it'd probably be like four bill if it was slash sunday or something or if it was sunday and you have the slash sunday benefits because you know you get uh where is it uh increased uh money earned by 30 percent during sunday so pretty good so this sunday i'm probably going to be doing a lot of grind I think that is probably gonna be the plan actually wait no it's mother's day shoot dude i'm gonna <laughs> i'm not gonna be on very much during mother's day but uh, we'll try to get some grinding in for sure. And unfortunately, Lucky Keys are just not selling right now. I don't know why nobody is buying them like at all. I think the only shop I found buying them after looking for like the last five minutes is some guy buying them for $5 million a stack, which is a huge ripoff. I could open them right now and get way more than that. So it looks like we're just gonna go ahead and go back to our plot and end up storing them in a chest until people start buying them. I have no idea when they're gonna start, uh, you know, people are gonna start buying them up, but hopefully soon. But luckily we can actually go ahead and sell the rank up keys the prisoner keys and the escapist key because those go for a decent bit of money let's store uh these uh value crystals in the chest here so pw i think this guy buys them for the most i could be completely wrong but it looks like over here we got 1.75 billion per escapist key and 500 mil per uh prisoner i'm gonna take a look at a couple different shops okay this guy buys them for the exact same price okay let's see let's take a look at some other shops okay this guy does the literal exact same prices so everybody seems to have the exact same prices i don't know if this guy has any any better prices or what oh yeah this guy is very outdated okay 500 mil uh per uh escape is key not very good okay yeah it seems like everybody has the exact same prices 500 mil per uh prisoner and five or 1.75 bill per escape so i'm just gonna go ahead and sell this guy guys okay 1.775 billion for the escape is key we're gonna sell these two for 500 and i believe rank ups yeah they're going for about 60 million per so we'll just uh fill all that in there sell so pretty much everything and that gets uh, it gets us to 7.4 billion dollars which is not too bad at all let's type slash ranks how much money do i need to hit prestige three uh okay that is not nearly as bad as i thought it was 90 billion dollars or so i thought it was gonna be like 120 or 130 or something like that so you know what that's not half bad i thought it was gonna be way worse so that is something doable in the next you know couple weeks hopefully so we do have a bunch of tokens though that i kind of do want to sell but i just don't know how much they're going for right now on age i think i am gonna wait until sunday to list them on the auction house because if you guys don't actually know uh there is no AH listing fees on sunday so if I were to sell something, there's like a 
what is it like two or three percent tax which i don't really want to pay so i'm just gonna sell everything on sunday when there's no listing fee that would make the most sense i feel like so yeah we'll probably end up doing that but uh yeah i don't really know what else to do for the rest of the video what should i do this guy actually just gave me a good idea hey i think you should uh do skull island more he said he has a uh swindle the charge 20 sword he can lend me if i sell to his shop but uh i i don't i, I mean i already have mine and i always die just like people placing pvp beacons you know what we could try to uh let's see we could try to go to skull island this guy said just between us you got to leave every 20 minutes makes sense he said otherwise you will be targeted okay maybe that's not a half bad strategy okay you know what that strikes an idea we're gonna go to skull island for a little bit uh where are my boots oh duh i'm wearing them okay so we're gonna go to skull island for a little bit this is not the greatest set by any means or anything like that but we're still gonna try to grind some stuff out with this we're gonna put everything away for now i'm gonna try to get some gold shards because i know uh the skull island is very good for getting gold shards and get a lot of money with it and obviously i am in desperate need of gold shards right now so we might as well go and try to grind it out let's grab some golden apples i guess this guy said keep up the great vids and let me know if you ever sell shards i'll buy from you for top price i'm actually gonna screenshot this so i remember this guy's name just in case i actually do decide to sell shards which i probably won't because i might end up using it for myself but we're gonna jump into the skull island actually that's actually not a half bad idea i hope i don't die i told him i always do die when i go to skull island uh people just place pvp beacons they kill me but i wonder if i leave every 20 minutes there's only eight people here it says i wonder how much gold shards i can get in like the next we'll say 15 minutes i just want to grind for 15 minutes nothing crazy at all we're gonna see how many gold shards we can get and i guess i'll just bring you guys back after that 15 minutes is up and we're just gonna see how far we can get Alright guys, we've been in the uh, Skull Island here for about 15 minutes. If you look on the scoreboard, you see the duration is 14 minutes and 45 seconds. And uh, I've spent most of the time just looking for the correct grinding spots and just running around. As you can see, I've gotten a little over a stack of gold shards. Actually, one gold shard over a stack. So, looks like I made about a stack every 15 minutes or so. I bet you I could get up to a stack every 10 to 12 minutes if I actually knew the correct like grinding area. So, that's not so bad. I would say between like 5 and 6 stacks per hour, I would actually average because... This seems to be the best grinding area. I don't know why they're not spawning right now, but this is where I saw the most mobs spawning is just like right around this area. They're not spawning right now, though. It's kind of making me look like I'm dumb or something. I don't know. I honestly promise that I saw a bunch of mobs spawning around here. I don't really know the spawn locations, though. That would be uh, very helpful if I did. But yeah, I think it's time to get out of here. That guy told me no more than 20 minutes at a time. So uh, yeah, I don't really want to get killed. So let's get out of here. Oh, there's a big patch of mobs here. Maybe I should grind these out first. Hold on. Oh, there's a bunch. This is gold shard galore right here oh my gosh look at this you just got to stand up here hit the mobs uh you got to get uh what is it like sweeping or something on your sword some kind of enchant and it just uh, attacks all of them does a bunch of damage look at that look how fast i took down this entire swarm of mobs oh my gosh okay they're all dead that got us another seven gold shards there not too bad yeah i feel like these big open stone areas are like some of the best spots to grind in my opinion so i'm gonna grind this last little bit here and then we're gonna get out of here because i don't want to die i want to pocket these gold shards and i'll probably do a lot of gold shard grinding off camera honestly it doesn't look like it's too bad because you got to think right now a stack of gold shards is going for about 800 million dollars so technically in 15 minutes i just made 800 million dollars which is way more than i would make mining but obviously i'm not going to sell them because i need them myself i need them to uh, upgrade my backpack as of right now okay i don't even you know what i'm gonna kill these last two mobs that's it and then we're gonna get out of here dude all right one dead and two dead and i literally don't think i got any gold shards from that but that's all right we need to find an exit now i have no idea where exits are going to be at but you see a big green round ring or something like that and that's how you know it's an exit just like this right here the big green round ring you click the exit portal and there we go we also managed to get 4600 tokens so that almost paid for our entry fee which was pretty good because the entry fee is 5000 tokens to get in and we got all these gold shards as well so if we go back to our plot i'm gonna go ahead and store all of these in the chest right there we go and yeah that is not too bad at all but guys we are probably gonna go ahead and end off today's video here if you guys did enjoy make sure to drop a like luckily we did or well not luckily gladly we did hit prestige 2 in today's video hopefully by the next video i'll have a lot more gold shards to upgrade the backpack with